I'm no expert, but I don't think that you just wake up one day and all of a sudden you're a lesbian. I think you are, or you're not. I don't feel like a lesbian. Unless the way I usually feel, which is how I always thought straight girls feel, is actually how lesbians feel. Are you attracted to women? No. I don't think so. But who knows? I read Elle, Vogue, and In Touch every week, and it's not for the articles. <laughs> That is not gonna stand up in lesbian court. All I know is that my subconscious created Jennifer for a reason. Maybe it's trying to tell me something. Yeah, that you need to love yourself more. Or that the reason that I have so much trouble meeting guys I like is because they're not women. You like me, have you ever felt, are you at all <clears throat> a attracted to me? No. Oh. I'm not pretty enough for you? Well, of course you are. You're gorgeous. So, what's the problem? I don't know. I, I think if I did think like that, I don't think I'd think about you that way because I think about you like my sister. Oh, okay, you're not interested. I, I get it. You don't have to try to make me feel better with your double talk. Hey, I don't even know if I am a lesbian. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should find out. Hi. Hi. I love your bra. It's not an easy job to support me and look good doing it. Sounds like a fun job, though. Hey, you want to grab dinner sometime? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Another 30 seconds on this thing and I would have been dead. <laughs> it's one date. I'm not adopting kids and moving in with her. Yet. These women move fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said to find out, that's what I'm doing. I meant look into your heart, not hook up with the first girl that gives you a compliment. Why not? Worst comes to worst, you find out that you're not a lesbian. There's a moment of intense awkwardness. You get out of bed, you wipe your mouth off, and you get the hell out of there. Oh. What are you going to wear? I don't know. What do girls like? Penises and body hair. See? I'm not that crazy about body hair. Maybe that should have been my first clue. Mm -hmm. Neither am I. Sometimes I fantasize about waxing Michael while he's sleeping. Oh, Ew. Jake shaves everywhere. Uh, ew, ew, ew. Really? Mm -hmm. This is a whole disgusting conversation that I may never have to have again. Mm. And now I'm jealous. Well, I can't believe I just admitted that <laughs> to a complete stranger. I don't think I could ever tell my friends. Well, I may not know you as well as them, but. I know exactly what you're feeling. And by the way, the reaction might surprise you. Not a chance. If I ever told them that I'd never missed an episode of Battlestar Galactica, they would disown me. People are so close-minded. <laughs> hey, speaking of deep, dark secrets, when did you first know? Right away. You did? Yeah, the first second I saw you. You knew what? I thought you were gay. Oh, uh, actually, I meant, when did you realize you were gay? I'm, I'm not gay. Excuse me? I mean, I'm curious. That's why I'm here, but I'm not gay. Huh. Here's a funny thing. I'm not gay either. Of course you are. You asked me out. Because you made a flirty, suggestive reference to supporting my breasts. <laughs> hmm. So, uh, now what do we do? I don't know. Are you still curious? Yeah. Well, me too. 
I'm not a quitter. Men are still an option, just not tonight. Okay, Heather, other than the fact that her lips are too perfect to be real, give me one good reason why this is a mistake. Well, I don't think it's gross at all. I think it's beautiful, or it could be. We'll just have to wait and see. Hey, hey, I thought I created you guys to help me deal with things, not make them seem a hundred times worse. Life has presented me with an opportunity here, and I'm going to take it because I think that's what life wants, to go out and grab it and not just sit around and bitch. Nice. I'm being laughed at by my alter egos. Dear diary. No. Enough. I'm done. Don't wait up. <laughs> really? I, yeah, I mean, I think so. Yeah. Do. You do? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Eden. It's so nice to see you, too. I was just introducing myself to your friend, Chandra. What are you still doing here? Listen, it was really great to meet you. Why don't we chalk this up to a silly misunderstanding and call it a night? But we haven't tried our entrees yet. Aren't you curious about how they'll be? I don't think that Chandra is excited about what she ordered anymore. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, she does. And I'd rather have my first lesbian experience with a real lesbian. What? Hmm. Her? She's not a lesbian. She's a freak. Now you're being homophobic. Besides, don't you have an imaginary friend you'd rather experiment with? No, we're not talking to each other because of you. Ouch. Wow. Where can you turn when you can't even hang out with the friends you made up? You know, I think maybe we should just go. Yeah. Thanks. You mind if I join you? Yes. I'm not having the greatest night, and I don't do well with waiters. Oh, I'm not your waiter. I, I was just sitting over there being stood up by my internet date and uh, couldn't help but overhear. Well, uh, actually, I was spying on the nightmare that was going on over here, and I thought, you know, we could both use a drink. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Are you real or imaginary? 